the Dalai Lama in the newspaper. I was the headliner. I mean, that's unbelievable. I'm going to somehow be one of the most well-known porn stars of all time. But I get to drink and dance and make money. This is way better than anything else I can imagine. Cool. I, you know, sign me up. Of course, took advantage of everything that was there. We give them in the adult entertainment industry for a brief, shiny moment, the immortality, validation, and credibility, but nobody thinks that it's gonna end. What you do in porn films is not sex. When you're involved in this industry, you lose your humanity. You're no longer treated as a human being. The dirtiest of the dirtiest gonzo companies. I worked for anybody I could to make a buck. I just started feeling really depressed about it. Very few women say, hmm, am I going to become a surgeon or I'm going to become a pornography star? Well, I can't do anything else. This is what I'm good at. This is all that I know. My life started to kind of spiral. The gig was up and I had to face it. I suddenly realized that I'm free. I don't have to be here anymore. And I walked away and that was it. My husband and my son changed my life. I didn't plan to be a single mom. I didn't plan to be stuck in the middle of the desert where I don't know anybody. Uh, yeah, I really don't have too many regrets. I get to travel around the world, uh, met a lot of interesting people. It's really hard for me to believe that I was that girl. I never thought that I would be who I became. What are you going to do 10 years from now when your kid brings on the magazine? It doesn't go away. <laughs>